Okay, sorry about that. I got interrupted and then a voicemail came in. I don't know. At any rate, um, picking up where I left off. A uh, soft chew diet, 12 weeks. Um, no nuts. That should be a given. I shouldn't. Nobody should have to tell you that. Um, that I would think would be um, common sense. I feel like if you had enough money, the $45,000, to get this uh, procedure done, you might have a little bit of common sense. Maybe, but maybe not. I could be wrong. Um, okay, so suggestions for that 12 weeks. Drinks like water, juice, smoothies, protein shakes, milkshakes. Um, soft foods including jello, pudding, yogurt, ice cream, scrambled eggs, cream of wheat or oatmeal, uh, soups, mashed potatoes, fish, pasta, pancakes, cottage cheese, applesauce, the list goes on. You figure it out what uh, is suitable for you and your diet, but um, soft chew foods only you know i what came to my mind though going through this was like cottage cheese and i thought that's gonna get stuck up there and that i, I think is gonna be gross so i think i'll avoid maybe the cottage cheese at first i'm not sure really really important people is to get your protein in now i know i act like i'm some kind of expert and i am not i am definitely not but I do know a little bit about diet, exercise, and uh, overall well-being. And I do know that you are not going to heal if you do not get enough protein. So please ensure that you are getting the uh, appropriate amount of protein for you. Um, that's going to be dependent on your weight, uh, male, female, age. But typically, uh, the weight um, will dictate how much uh, protein you need. You could be one to two grams of protein per pound of body weight. So keep that in mind. Google it. Look it up. You'll find all the information on that. Um, you know, just some additional information that they provided was to make sure like you have an aquaphor or a Vaseline for your lips. You are going to uh, be stretched for multiple hours. Your skin is going to get dry. Your it's going to crack. Um... While you're in your temporary um, appliance or prosthetic, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be um, maybe uh, like feel a little thick in your mouth. You're going to have to get used to that feeling. It's going to be a transition period for that. So keep it in mind. Um, also, during that transition period, you may have some saliva. You might have some drool that happens very normal but that's not going to last i am i'm assured they haven't assured me that that will not um last forever um i also think that i'll have some sort of a speech uh impediment for a little while until i get used to that in my mouth but um you know again i don't think that's uncommon also uh you're uh, i personally will be um under general anesthesia that means that uh, quite um, quite possibly they'll put an air tube down my throat so that uh, may give me a bit of a you know sore throat your jaw might get uh, very very sore in extreme cases they have told me in very very extreme cases uh, your jaw might break so um, <laughs> I almost cross my fingers that that doesn't happen um, so I think that that is all I have to share about, uh, the pre and post-op care at this point. Um, I guess I'll know more, you know, after my procedure and, um, I can, uh, of course, give some additional pointers after that time. I will be doing daily videos, um, after surgery, um, so that, uh, I can kind of show, you know, what the progress is on a daily basis. And it'd be good for me to keep track of that as well. So um, any questions that you might have for me, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Um, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. I think I have three subscribers right now on this channel. Um, that's probably just YouTube. So... Uh, if somebody wants to follow me, that'd be great. Um, I had a previous YouTube channel and I did have a handful of subscribers on that that had 
uh, mostly to do with um, weight loss. So um, I'm starting over here. So I'd appreciate um, any help that you can give me by subscribing, sharing the video if you know somebody who's going to go through this process. And um, that's it for today. Thanks. Have a great one.